Okay, so moving on to the keyboard, it's got two different kinds of keys that it calls. Hot keys are one, and then it's also got function keys. Um, so the hot keys, you can see those are all these silver keys. You've got an application switcher, a zoom, there's a gadgets button of pictures. This is all your media controls, volume, play, pause, mute, all that kind of stuff. The music one actually opens up your music folder. Media Center, if you've got Windows Vista or 7, opens up the Media Center. And then over here you've got a calculator and a sleep the PC button, which you can configure to actually put your computer to sleep or turn it off. It's kind of cool. Um, but these just do what you might expect. You push the calculator button, that pops the Windows calculator. Um, you know, the, the media controls, if I push the uh, music button here, then it's going to bring up Windows Media Player, my list of music, you can play, you know, mute, do all that kind of stuff. Um, the keyboard doesn't actually have any indicators or LCD screen or anything on it to save battery life, so when you push these things, you'll actually get a pop-up on your screen that shows you, okay, you're turning the volume up or down, whatever the case is. So it puts those all on the screen so it doesn't waste the batteries in the keyboard itself, which I think is kind of nice. Same thing if you push, like, the caps lock key, it's going to give you a little pop-up that says, hey, uh, caps lock is on or off, those kind of things. Um, but you can configure these buttons to do pretty much anything you want. You can see right here the application switcher button. You know, what that actually does when you push that is it puts all your windows kind of in this overview and then you just click on the one that you want to bring to the front. Um, but you can switch that. You can tell it to do, you know, anything. Open a file or a program or a keystroke or anything you want. So, kind of cool. Um, then you've got the function keys. It's kind of like a laptop. You've got a little function key down here. So if you push that in one of the F keys, you can see we've got a Word, Excel, a calendar. These A, B, and C ones you can are just programmable ones. You can do what you want. Internet, um, messenger, email, search, um, the battery one just brings up your battery status. And then there's an eject one, which actually ejects just show you your CD drive. So whichever your primary CD drive is, that actually opens it up and closes it if you push it again. Um, so, and same thing with these though. You can program to do whatever you want. If you have Microsoft Office installed, then these document and spreadsheet buttons will actually open up. So for example, if I push the spreadsheet one, it opens up an Excel spreadsheet. So just shortcut ways to do everything you want to do. Um, and it's easy to just change these to do what you want. For example, uh, this one, which is the email one, it defaulted to uh, open up Gmail, but I actually don't have Gmail, I have Hotmail. So I've just set it to open up Hotmail.com instead. So if I just press on that key, then it opens up my web browser and it goes straight to my Hotmail inbox, like that. So, pretty cool. Um, but yeah, all of these functions you can do, you know, just make them do whatever you want them to do. Again, it's giving you your battery status here on the screen too. And you can actually tell it to disable certain keys like caps lock or the Windows start key if you don't use that. The scroll lock, which it recommends you disable because pretty much nobody ever uses that. I never use it. Uh, but you can disable any of these keys that you want to disable, you can see on this list here. So, like I said, overall I'm pretty impressed with the mouse and the keyboard both. Um, the keyboard is really quiet. You can see if I start typing on the keys here, pressing on them, it's really, it's probably one of the quietest keyboards I've ever had. And so I'm really, I really like that. Um, so yeah, and I've been using it for a couple months. The batteries, it still says, are good. So, should get a pretty decent battery life out of both the mouse and the keyboard. So that's pretty much it for now. Um, if you have any questions, post them up and I'll try to answer them. And thanks for watching.